Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be... Well, this is a... Update. My energies have shifted for... About... Four days now? Three. Um, wait, when did I record that last video? Because it was... Oh! Okay, so about three days now. Because the video was recorded two days ago. I did not get to record anything since the 20th. Um, my energies have, uh, shifted. They, I'm not, I don't feel like my usual self. You can tell by my voice as well. It could be just, um, an acute sinusitis, uh, could be that, because I have not eaten much for the past two days. It could have been because of lack of sleep, not because of constipation, as I once thought. Um, so yeah, I would probably a lack of sleep, which is affecting everything. Except I did eat today, this morning, a big meal. Uh, for breakfast, um, about, I think it was around 300 calories or something, instead of versus, uh, around 200 or something, um, I was supposed to do light language, but instead I'm just doing a, a quick health update. Just in case you're feeling the same way as I am, maybe it's not just me, maybe it has to do with the lunar eclipse that we just passed. It could have been from that, could have been from lack of sleep, could have been from, um, yeah, uh, something to do with the zodiac and astrology signs and eclipses and stuff. Even now, I just feel tired still. Um, but that's because I didn't get sleep for two days, except for five hours, then get back up and then crash and then rest my eyes for like an hour or between an hour and two hours. Um, so I'm still feeling that effect. Uh, as for my emotional state, normal. Other people have said they're very anxious, but I didn't feel anything. Other people is feeling um, a little bit depressed. Uh, I know one person is still angry at me, but I will not be friend in him anytime soon, and by that I mean I will not, he is done, he is out of my life for good, and I know he is still pissed at me, well, go ahead and be pissed, I don't fucking care, okay, I really don't, yeah, the last, uh, since I forgot to remove his, uh, profile photo, Meaning his messages in my inbox so I could see if he updated his profile picture in which he did and it felt he was pissed off and it also felt evil. He is evil but doesn't call it evil. His energy is just, it reads evil. Um, by that I mean 
It's just, it's not light from warm. It's the opposite of warm. Cold, heartless, um, only cares about himself, stuck up, uh, uptight, um, nas- narcissism, um, is also, I just, me personally, I cannot stand horror movies anymore with mutants and death and, well, I could never stand gore, but, yeah, it, he is a horror frenetic and I cannot stand his energy. It reads evil to me. The opposite of warm. The opposite of light worker. He is dark. And it, it just feels evil to me. And I, and yeah, sir, it was because of what he changed his profile picture to, which was fun to a, a skull face or I don't know, something that just said grr. Like, Grr. <laughs> um, like, like a, um, you know, an angry face that is basically saying grr. I think it was a skull face, or was it a volcano? Uh, one person, I thought it was him, but I read that he liked the page in 2014, and I was like, oh, that's not him, and he had a, a skull face. And I felt anger and evil, but it wasn't the same person. If it is, um, I just made myself think it isn't him, and I got him away from all my pages. Hopefully it isn't him, and it's just a random person. Um, because I, I don't think I met him in 2014, and that's why I said, oh, this is someone else. So, yeah, this is, like, a, just a, a reflection of what has been going on behind the scenes, uh, my health update, and my, and auras I cannot stand. Yeah, uh... I know he's, he tried to tell me that darkness does not equal evil, but your aura is opposite of love. You are opposite of the laws, I, the cosmic laws I follow. His actions are, speak against it. He said he was with the laws, but he wasn't. He just cares about himself only, blames it on, oh, I got a, I had a divorce and then, then I meet you and, and, and then he's blamed it on being alone for years. And that's why he only cares about himself because he has no one else around, but it, it was him versus me all the time. I completely, well, not completely changed, but, I am getting better at it to about, to care about the ones in my life. I know I, I saw, okay, I saw a post that said, a meme that said, excuse me for being in my head, living in my head, and forget to talk to you. I also feel that I bother people if I message them first. So I let them message me because I feel like I am bothering them. So I respect them in that way. And he, um, so, but what, what he really meant was that I was not asking about his job or his health because I could not see it, but I've always been closed book on that, like, 
but as I said, I am getting better at it, asking people how they are, and I just constantly say, I hope you're having a good day, or I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, or if not, he was in love, uh, something like that. I am trying to post that more often in my newsfeed, uh, but I let the people talk to me first, and because I feel like I am respecting their time, I am respecting them. I don't do anything for another person anymore. I quit that years ago. So that's why, probably why I failed to ask him that pretty much every other day how he is. Well, I used to care about if he was dreaming or not and how he slept, but since we continued to fight and say that uh, being pissed off at each other, that I just completely stopped caring about him in that one area because, well, he continues to say I don't ask anything about him of how he is doing, so I just stopped and he is still pissed off at me. But if someone asks me themselves, first before I do, then I ask them back. He wanted me to do it first, but since I respect them in the time, I was waiting for him to ask about me so I could ask him back. And that's how I've always been, and he disrespected me in that, in that sense, saying, well, you don't care about me, why should I care about you? And that's not even the case. It was him versus me. He thinks I was always in the wrong. He thinks he was always in the right. Then he said, I thought he was in the, in the wrong, and I was always right, and that is not what happened. And so I just... Obviously, he did not know, really, how I respond to people in that regard. Um, he does not really know me, or uh, however you want to say that. I was not trying to go on about my stupid ex for like six years, off and on for six years. Uh, I don't care, he's pissed off. I'd rather him forget about me, I forgot him. Like, you know how your your brain, like, remembers stuff? Or his voice? Well, that's all gone. So, I mean, there are pieces and bits still floating around, like, how he disrespected me in other events, and... Yeah, he's, he is a narcissist, and how he responded to me in saying all this negative stuff. He is a negative person. His energy just was negative. It was cold, unwelcome, and it was the opposite of warm. Mine is inviting, his was not. He is a horror fanatic, and he just cares about himself, and then expects me to ask him first. And uh, like I said, I was asking him a question, and then he, he turns around and says, well, you never cared about me, and that's not, that is not even true. So I am glad this person is out of my life, and I hope if you have someone like that, get rid of them. It is not worth it. If you constantly question your self-love for them, don't. It's not worth it. Get rid of them. I am probably going to have to cut this into two parts. Welcome back to this update of just, I don't know what, the flexing, I guess. Uh, I've been in a the flexing type of mood, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, if you have a person like this 
uh, negative person that says you're always wrong and he is always right or says you you think you're right all the time and he is wrong or what how whatever and all this other negative stuff and you question do you love him is it worth it my answer to that is it is not worth it if you question your love for this person and you are in a prison where you cannot ask certain things or talk about certain things or express yourself in all areas, get rid of this negative, cold-ass person. It is not worth your time anymore. I dealt with this person off and on for six years. Did it get any better? It did not. He tried to tell me he changed, but he he did not. His accents still was in the same bullshit. The same bullshit. He did not change. He said he did. You did not. You are still a child who only cares about yourself. He refuses to acknowledge my side. Then you tell, try to tell me that I ignore your side and think I am always right. That is not true. We were never on the same page. That is why you are gone from my life because we had a stupid argument. I was not even pissed off. Somehow, for whatever reason, you were pissed off and you soft blocked me. And I said, fuck this stupid Facebook for letting you block messages but not your whole account or if i do not know of that what happened i think he just blocked me again for say, for telling him i do not appreciate you tell trying to say this in your anger then refuses to apologize and still thinks what he said was okay while in his anger then i told him off saying I did not appreciate that, this is wrong, you are wrong for doing that, he blocked me, saying he was pissed off, and and I'm like, why did you even get upset for, this is stupid, and he blocked me again like a child. If you have a person that does this, get rid of them, it is not worth it. If you constantly question, do you love this person, is it worth your time? You can only do so much, and most of the time, it is not worth the effort. I found out why I kept working with this person for six years, off and on for six years. He, um, most of the time, he was controlling his reality for me to come back. He did did not see acknowledge that i came back this last time to tell him that and when he accepted it and actually saw it because his person he knows told him that and then i came back to tell him the same thing he accepts it and then when that mission was over he blocked me again for something so stupid and i have not Try to add him back to say hey, what happened was wrong and you should have apologized and whatever it may be. Um, the universe said, your mission with him is over. He needed to be taught this from you. And once that was over, time to leave him again. And I finally see that for what it, for what it is. So my mission with him is over. Everything is done. Everything is gone and over with. So the universe speaks to you and everything, even people. And this cycle continued on and off for six years. The longest I did not speak to him was like six months and then I came back. And 
right now I'm going for a whole year to see if I if I can get over him for a whole year. Do not go back. Do not feel the need to add him back. Then I have finally broken the cycle, or whatever. Or he finally broke his cycle for not wanting me. So he was a very toxic person in my life, and I tried to work with it for years. It wasn't worth it. And I was sacrificing so much, my time, my energy, my happiness, my self-worth, etc. And what does he do? He says things to attack me, then I basically cry, and he's like, oh shit, not this again, I know what will happen if, if, I, if you continue this. Because he, he again tried to attack me with his words, to make me cry, and he's like, oh shit, I better stop and change the subject. No, you refuse to uh, to acknowledge you attacked me to make me cry and go down that rabbit hole again. You refuse to acknowledge that your words hurt me. And there was other stuff I acknowledged, and... Uh, it was time for me to finally see this for what it is, move on, and, you know, really take care of my heart for once and my soul, rather than sacrificing everything for this person and was getting nothing in return, but, but hate, self-hate, and just everything that was just wrong. I was not expecting to do a two-part on this, uh, I, uh, especially on video, um, where I just reflect everything wrong with my ex, like, why? I don't need to do this. I did this multiple times, and I guess I am still getting over it, still letting him go. Um, I don't know why I did, did this again. I do this, like, once a month or something, if that, I don't know. I don't time it. I just rant in my head or just, you know, not on the camera. So I don't really know why I'm doing it now. Uh, as for the name of this video, I'm just going to title the date and just... Because this is not what I really want to show. I mean, I know I've showed similar rants getting this out. Trying with teaching, it, it's a lesson, okay? It, it, I teach through my lessons. And this was another lesson that I had to get out, I suppose, and for my blog. This is organic without writing it from my higher self while in a trance or from the heart. This is just from my brain. Again, and yeah, I, I made good points again. Um, but again, I was not planning to do this, because I am already over him. I forgot his voice. I forgot what he looks like. Some things are still veiled, but they're so faded that it's almost gone. So, yeah. Um, but talking about this to people actually helps you heal. Talking to animals, talking to trees talking to whatever, your pillow, it doesn't matter, just talk openly, uh, by openly I mean not in your head, vocal, talk vocally, um, about it, and you will heal, so I guess you're just talking to the universe in that sense, and you're, from that, you are healing, I suppose that is why I c constantly go about it, ranting uh, to my uh, holy guardian angels uh, about it. Like, just trying to get over it, trying to get closer, trying to heal from the damage that was done for off and on for six years. 
Did I speak to him for a whole year? No, we never got to that point. We always block over something stupid. Two weeks later, come back. Three days later, block. Three weeks later, come back, and the cycles just continued like that until we get stopped talking for like six months and then stay、uh, talking for I don't know how long it was this time, but it was longer, and then just get blocked again. And hopefully, this is the final cycle. I am praying. That it is because I do not want to be around this person anymore. I cannot help him. I see things he has to see it for himself, and he is blind. He cannot see it. He cannot acknowledge it yet. And it just, it just shows you he never loved me. That I never loved him. It was all a lie. I mean, he wanted me so bad that. He shaped his reality to well I would be in it, but it wasn't my love. I was feeling it from him, not from myself. It was all a lie. He tried to tell me otherwise that, but love is different to me. To you, it is not different. I'm an empath. I felt the love you had for me. It wasn't from myself. You tried to tell me otherwise, but that is not the case for me. It might be true for another empath. Well, love is different. If you do love them, you will not feel it unless you love them. I don't know. Personally, to me, I felt it from him. I've reflected what he felt, including love. So, if you feel. If you do not reflect love to another person, if reflect their love, then I do not know. I I am having a hard time explaining that.、Uh, hopefully, that makes some sense. I can't really word that without typing it out and actually fixing it.、Uh, so yeah, I think I got everything that I needed. Out of this video, I don't think I have anything anything else to say. All points were made. I'm just going to title the date of this video. That's it. No name because it's kind of like a mini event with with lessons learned. Uh, usually I just write them on my blog and will not. I know I posted one, but. The last two, I don't think I will read it. I don't know yet. I might. I, I'm still backed up with videos to read from my blog, including the Book of the Law, and I might read The Risen and the Voice or another book. I don't know yet. We shall see what happens in the future. Until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. After that <laughs> rant about my stupid ex again, telling everything wrong, expressing myself to the to the max,、um, I feel better. Like just talking about it、uh, through it just helped me heal to get it. Off of my aura,、um, I feel better now.、Um, so I encourage you to talk to anything or anyone, be it cat, a cat, a pet, a tree, plants, your pillow,、uh, to yourself.、Um, To your holy guardian angels,、uh, a deity that you believe in, whatever it may be, express yourself to them. It will help you get over it faster.
or, in my case, I continue to express that this about my ex to myself, to the universe, to my、uh, holy guardian angel, even to、uh, my deity that I believe in, and I don't know why I continue because I said it once. It It should have been done and over with. However, I've done it multiple times when the need arises. But it just shows that someone is there. You are not alone. You have someone that cares. So yeah,、uh, I just wanted to、uh, get that out. Of the way, and oh my god, my brain, uh, not my um signal, no, not it. Wave, brain wave just went like down, and I could just feel it going, like it went, it dropped, and that's why I like, uh, like didn't say like right after, <laughs> like let that weird pause, like <laughs> that that was weird. Um, but yeah, as I said, my energies are completely off right now. I am starting to get over it. It could be the blood moon again, a、uh, full moon、uh, lunar eclipse that made me reflect again on my ex. Even though I've done this multiple times, I feel I do not need to do this anymore.、Um, but it continues. To happen, yeah. I, I don't know why. Ah,、uh, who knows? Maybe you have that same experience.、Uh, you said it once. You thought you were done, but continue to happen. Or you need to talk about it again, over and over again. I don't know.、Um, but yeah, I feel much better. But yeah,、um, I thank you for your time. Until we meet again, my friends.